Layton, it's always a pleasure to chat with you. Um, yeah, listen, it was probably time for a change, right? You're in Kansas City a long time. You won a World Series. A little stagnant there. It's hard to go redo it again. So a little blow for both franchises. You and the team, you're probably okay with what happened there in KC. Discuss that well, first. Go ahead. Let yeah, me... you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's different, of course. But you know what, Chris, I, I'm so excited to, to be over here with, with Chris Young. I mean, he's somebody that I've admired for many, many years. Uh, he has a great passion and, uh, and desire to win here in Texas. And I'm just really humbled to be a part of it. And uh, I admire the moves that uh, the organization has made this year. It continues to, to strengthen the foundation. And, uh, you know, having Bruce Bochy here is special as well. And nice to have a little resources to work with, too. DeGrom and all the, uh, Valdi and, of course, the managers. So this team has a chance. You, I've only been there a couple of days. But you know Texas pretty well. You train in the same ballpark there in Surprise. So you know a lot of the personnel. What's your take here? What to expect as far as 2023? We know better. How much better, Dayton? Let me hear. Well, look, the, the, the way you tilt the field in your favor is starting pitching. And, uh, you know, nobody understands that more than, than Chris Young and Bruce, Bruce Bochy and, and the dedication, as I said before, and the commitment to, uh, to strengthen this rotation. Um, you know, that's where it begins and ends. And, you know, the teams that set out last year did not participate, you know, in the playoffs. They all had one thing in common. They had pitching that uh, either underachieved, didn't stay healthy, or just didn't perform. And so that was the focus. That was the mission. And I think, uh, you know, Chris Young and the, the front office executed it beautifully. Uh, we expect DeGrom. I know a little hiccup here. Uh, you know, you didn't – well, you saw him in the World Series in 15, so you know how good he is. Matter of fact, I think he pitched pretty well in one of those games, if I'm not mistaken. How about Jacob here? What do you see there, Dayton, from afar? Let me hear your thoughts. Uh, you know what? Just just being around him a little bit from a distance. I mean, first of all, he, he's a he's an upbeat person. Uh, he's he's communicating well and interacting with his teammates uh, extremely well. And as you know, it's it's not easy necessarily to transition to a new organization. But uh, again, I, I give all the credit to Chris and C CY just creating that type of environment. But uh, he's going to be fine. And you know, we're really looking forward to him taking the you know going to post every fifth day. That's for sure. Do you see sparkle in your manager's eyes? How about Bochi, Dayton? Thoughts there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I mean, just being able to sit with him and spend time with him, it's obvious why they were so successful. You know, that, that great combination of Brian Sabian and, and Bruce Bochi, you know, for so many years. I mean, he's a very humble man. Uh, he's funny. Uh, he's extremely intelligent. He's, he's got a way of just relating to the players. He spends a lot of time one-on-one. -on -one. There's always somebody in his office where he's getting to know them and talk to them and being to understand, you know, what makes them tick. And I mean, great presence as we know, and uh, you know, there's some, there's nothing that can replace, you know, winning and uh, his track record speaks for itself, but there's no doubt in my mind, Boach does not come out of retirement unless he feels that, uh, that he can uh, be a part of, you know, doing something special and winning another world series championship. 100%. No way he's going to manage a 500 team for the next three years. Why would he do that? He's going to the Hall of Fame. I'm with you. All right, how about you now? Let, 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 you know, with you, you corner shots in Kansas City, you were the boss. I'm going to take the advisor scenario. They're going to run a lot of things by you, and you're going to give them your advice, but that doesn't mean you have final authority. What's the adjustment for Dayton Moore? You're a, a, a World Series champion with a tough organization in Kansas City. Now a little different role. What is that going to be with this team? Let me hear. You know, I've been really blessed uh, to, um, you know, be able to, to be in different positions in the game. As you know, I started as a college coach, an area scout, did international work, professional scouting. I had great advisors along the way, player personnel, player development. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I've got a feel, I believe, just for the evolution of an organization, the evolution of a player, and, and just to be able to, you know, be the eyes and ears of CY and, and just be able to be there for him whenever he wants to discuss any scenario in the organization. Look, I certainly don't have all the answers. Nobody does, but uh, we're extremely committed to work together as one and uh, be able to, like I said, support him in all aspects of the organization. So I'm really looking forward to it. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult really to truly understand, you know, the, the weight that a general manager, a head of baseball operation feels on a daily basis. At times, it's, it's very, very lonely. You feel that weight. You feel that pressure from ownership, the fan base, all the expectations. 
that uh, a team has, and certainly the Rangers are certainly no different. So just to be able to, you know, to be alongside a CY, CY and and be able to help him uh, in this journey is very special to me. As you know, we we had him as a player in Kansas City. I love him. I love his family. Care deeply about you know everything that he does in life, and so I just want to be there for him. You are doing a wonderful job, and uh, you're running that team. Uh, and maybe you get a team again down the road. But right now, have fun with Texas. Always a pleasure, Dayton. Congratulations on that. We'll keep in touch. Thanks for a few minutes here today. Okay, Chris, you bet.